This is the story library book, Henry. This is a story about Henry the Green Engine. Henry was often ill and couldn't work, but then he tried some special world skill and got the chance to show everyone what he could do. Let's find out how it happened, shall we? Henry was a big engine. Sometimes he could pull trains, but sometimes he felt too weak and he had to stay in the yard. One morning, Henry was feeling very sorry for himself. I suffered dreadfully and no one cares, he said. Rubbish, Henry, snorted James. You don't work hard enough. Then the Fat Controller spoke to Henry. You're too expensive, Henry, he said. You have had lots of new parts and a new coat of paint, but they've done you no good. If we can't make you better, we will have to get another engine instead of you. This made Henry, his driver, and his fireman very sad. The Fat Controller was waiting when Henry came to the platform. He had taken off his hat and coat and put on overalls. He climbed onto Henry's footplate. Henry managed to stop, but his fireman was not happy. Henry is a bad steamer, he told the Fat Controller. I build up his fire, but it doesn't give enough heat. Henry tried very hard but to pull the train, but it was no good. He didn't have enough steam. He gradually came to a stop outside the wood station. Oh dear, thought Henry. Now I shall be sent away. Oh dear, oh dear. Henry went slowly into a siding, and Edward took charge of the train. What do you think is wrong, Fireman? asked the Fat Controller. It's the coal, sir, he answered. It hasn't been very good lately. The other engines can manage, but because they have big fireboxes. But Henry's is small, and can't make enough heat. With Welsh coal, he'd be a different engine. It's expensive, said the Fat Controller, but Henry must have a fair chance. I'll send James to fetch some. Henry's driver and family were, were very excited when the coal came. Now we'll show them Henry old fellow, they said. They carefully oiled Henry's joints and polished his brass until it shone like gold. Henry felt very proud. Then Henry's fireman carefully made his fire. He put large lumps of coal like a wall around the outside and he covered the glowing middle part with smaller lumps. You're spoiling my fire, complained Henry. Wait and see, said the fireman. We'll have a roaring fire just when we need it. The fireman was right. When Henry reached the platform, the water was boiling nicely and he had to let off steam. Whee! How are you, Henry? Asked the, fat, asked the fat controller. Peep, 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 whistled Henry. I feel fine. Do you have a good fire driver? The fat controller asked. Never better, sir, and plenty of steam, he replied. Henry was impatient. He wanted to set off. No record breaking more the fat controller. Don't push him too hard, driver. Henry won't need pushing, sir, the driver replied. I'll have to hold him back. Henry had a lovely day. He had never felt so well in his life. He wanted to go fast, but his driver wouldn't name. Steady old fellow, he said. There's plenty of time. But still, Henry went quite fast, and they arrived at the station early. Thomas popped in. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Henry. But before Thomas could answer, Henry was off again. I can't wait for slow tank engines like you, he said. Goodbye, and off he sped. Gosh, said Thomas, standing in Clarabelle. Have you ever seen anything like it? Annie and Clarabelle agreed that they never had. Henry was very happy. With his new Welsh coal, he could work as hard as the other engines. Then one day, Henry had a crash, and the Fat Controller had sent him to be mended. Workmen gave Henry a brand new shape and a bigger firebox, so he wouldn't need special coal anymore. And now Henry is so splendid and strong, he sometimes pulls the express. Beep, 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 whistles Henry, ha whistles Henry happily. Hope you enjoyed this story.